We've made it to a new month, which means it's time to take a look at the night sky here across the Midlands for the month of September. Unfortunately, between all the cloudy weather and tropical weather, we didn't get any good photos in from our WLTX weather watchers, but I think some really good opportunities for you guys to take a look at the night sky as we go into this month. And that's starting just this week, this Wednesday morning, 6.37 a.m., a great pass of the International Space Station over the Midlands. And this is the first of a couple of good opportunities over the next two weeks. So we'll try to keep you updated as we get closer to those events happening over us. But as you go a little bit later on into the month, some great planet viewing opportunities. September 26th, this is the morning with Mercury just above the horizon and Venus very visible. This is the brightest that it will be the entire year. It's where it gets its name, the morning star. Just a day later on the 27th, we'll see Saturn and the moon in our nighttime sky, so just look out towards the east or southeast, you should see the two traveling together. As you get towards the very end of this month, we get our full moon for September. This month, it's going to be called the Harvest Moon because it's the closest moon to the fall equinox, which does happen in the last week of September, also known as the Corn Moon. Let's talk about weather conditions, though, as we go throughout not only this month, but for the rest of the year. As we go through our year, you can see our cloudiness varies, really especially from our wintertime months towards our summer months. And if you break this down by the actual season, you can see our summer, spring, and fall months are a lot clearer than our winter months, which feature a lot of overcast conditions, typically, as you see a lot of weather systems moving through. So the good news is, over the next seven days, well, that holds true. We're going to see a lot of clear weather across across the Midlands. Looks like great viewing opportunities as you go throughout the next seven days, pretty much. And really just no excuse to get out there and take a look at the night sky with those cooler temperatures than what we've been seeing a little bit later on in those summer months we've been having. So if you have any pictures, videos, or questions that you want to send in to us, of course, you can check us out on social media. From the studio, a News 19 meteorologist, Corey Smith.